What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This is part 6 on how to make a snake game in Scratch, and in this video, we'll be looking at how to make a um, menu, as you can see at the start of the video, and how to make this nice food animation here, where we have it shrinks when the player eats it, and it sm spawns smoothly, and so as the um, poison food. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is the code from last time, and if you haven't seen parts 1 through 5 yet, you can check them out, links in description. But anyways, first we're going to create the menu, because that is very easy. So just paint a new sprite, we're going to call this the text, so I'll also call this costume the text. This will be the title of our game. So, it's going to be the color white, and all I want to do is just type in snake. So I'll make this a bit bigger. And I want this to be... So, I'm going to go to events and drag a one green flag clicked. And I want to make it go to the center. And I'm going to actually move this a bit up so the play button can be in the middle. So go to the center and make sure it shows. And we're going to also make the play button. So I'll call this play button. And I have a costume from a backpack. And this is what it looks like. I'll also call this play button. So it's a simple play button. Has um, a rounded rectangle, um, a curved cornered rectangle, same as the triangle. It's also curved cornered. So I basically want this to be in the center. And I'm going to drag a forever loop and an if else statement and check if touching mouse pointer. Then I'm going to go to looks and drag a set color effect to block and make this brightness. So I'm going to set the brightness to 50 and I'm going to duplicate it and make it zero. So as you can see, if I hover over the button, it turns brighter. So I'm going to go to back to control and drag an if statement and go to sensing and drag a mouse down. And I'm going to check if mouse down. Then we're going to broadcast a message. So a new message. And we're going to call this something like play the game. So this will play the game. And then we want it to hide and go to control and stop this script. So now this script will no longer work. And I'm going to make sure you put a show at the beginning at the um, what green flag. So I'm going to go in the text first and drag a when I see play the game. And we're going to hide it. So in the player sprite, we're going to make sure it hides at the beginning. And it's going to, when I receive play the game, then it will show. Show and do all this stuff. Oh, actually, we want to put this here. So now it looks like that. Oh, and same with the um, this one green flag click over here. We're going to make it a when I receive play the game. So in the food sprite, we're going to make it hide. 
and then when I receive play the game. Okay, so in the poison, we're going to do the same thing in this one green flag clicked. It's going to, it doesn't need to hide, but it does need to set the size to 70%. And then we're going to drag a win or see play the game. And the head sensor won't do anything because it will go to the player, so this doesn't matter. And we also need to do it with the bots, so it will hide. And then win or see play the game. We don't need to put the show because it creates clones anyways, so we don't need to put a show there because it already hid over there okay so let's test this out real quick so we have snake game and this play button so if you click it as you can see everything works fine okay so this is good mm -hmm. okay now we need to make the poison, make the food um, more cooler because it, it spawns really ugly and uh, we need to change that. <laughs> so um, first we need to change the costume because it looks ugly. So I'm going to just put a circle over it. Make sure this is in the back layer. And then select the middle fill, um, fill, and we're going to make the outside nothing and the inside red. So now it looks like that. So it actually looks pretty cool. Oh, and also we need to take the show away because it also creates clones, so we don't want that. Okay. So. We want it to spawn, so it's going to show, but it's going to set the ghost effect to 100. And we're going to repeat 10 times and change the ghost effect, not color, ghost effect by negative 10. Okay? And then we're going to go in this if statement here. And before it deletes the clone and change the length and everything, um, we're going to repeat 10 times. And we start at the size of 100. So repeat 10 times. We're going to change the size by negative 10. So it will gradually get smaller. So... We can try that out real quick. So, we have these food spawning. Oh, and now they shrink. So, that's exactly what we want. And I just got hit by a snake. Okay, but that doesn't matter right now. So, we're going to continue coding. We're going to do the same thing with a poison sprite. So, we want it to go and drag a repeat loop. Not around all of this, but repeat 10 times. I'm going to change the ghost effect by negative 10. And we're going to make it start to set the ghost effect to 100. So I'm going to go set the length real quick to 50. And it looks like it's already set, so I'm going to set to 60. And we're going to click the green flag. So we got length, and as you can see, the ghost effect or these um, poison food are spawning. Okay, so now that works. So, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.